Hey friends, starting the vlog on the bike. Decided to hop on and do like 30 minutes. I'm just catching up on some vlogs. I don't usually like to watch vlogs midday, but right now I have nothing going on. So I figured I'm gonna hop on the bike, get a hopefully zone two cardio workout in. Nothing too intense. It's Saturday. We have a fun, hopefully fun day today. He knows you're in zone two cardio when you can have a conversation but like you can still talk but the other person kind of knows that you're working out once you can no longer hold a conversation you're kind of past so too cardio so i'm gonna sit here catch up on some vlogs i have my water bottle here with my electrolytes which it cracked i'm so sad because i've had this for probably two years now but it cracked I mean, it's glass. I just have no idea how that happened. So I might look into the hydro jug. I have a simple modern tumbler and I love it, but similar to the Stanley, you can't flip it upside down. You can with a simple modern if you take the straw out, but who's gonna be taking the straw out? So I wanna get a hydro jug. I got one for my friend for her birthday this year. Was it this year? Yeah, it was this year. And I'm thinking maybe get one for myself because that way you can flip the straw down and actually you know, throw it in the car, your purse, whatever. 20 minutes in, just to get the body moving for today. You might not have the motivation to work out, but when you do, you won't regret it. You won't regret how you feel after you're done working out. It's just, it's a great feeling, in my opinion. Just got out of the shower, and it was not a warm shower by any means, I think. Our power went out, yep. Our power went out. Oh, is it electric or propane? I'm not sure, I'm trying to turn on the water heater. I'm just gonna keep it off for now but our power went out several times the other day and I guess that includes the water heater so my husband never turned it back on. So I just enjoyed a beautiful cold shower which actually felt really nice because that was pretty hot from the workout. But I'm going to do my skincare and apply some body care. I didn't love this scent at first. This is a Kopari Ultra Restore Farming Body Serum but fruity and sweet scents have grown on me so much you guys. So, like the other day I, I used to be a diehard, like my two scents, go-to scents were Dolce & Gamma Light Blue and then Chanel, I believe it's Chanel Chance. So I got these two right here from Dossier and I've had them for a while. Oh, I'm almost all out of the, the light blue one. These are like dupe versions or affordable versions or inspired by. And I applied this one the other day. This was supposed to be kind of like an inspired by Chanel Chance and I didn't love it. This was like my go-to scent if I was like going to a wedding, going out somewhere. I hate to say it, but I don't know. Like sweeter scents. I have this one here. Cosmic by Kylie Jenner. The spray doesn't work. One of my favorites is Stephanie Leda. She had came out with a fragrance line called Leda. And Oris 22. Love how that one smells. And then I just ordered Queens and Monsters from Henry Rose on Sephora. I got a gift card for my birthday. And then I also have their Fog. So that one's like a neutral musky scent. But Queens and Monsters like a warm, spicy, sensual scent. Man, I really cannot get anything out of here. But this smells nice. So I took out my tape and extensions the other day and it felt so nice. Give your scalp a good scrub. I just had a few pieces on the sides here for some volume and it was time to take them out. It was like beyond time, they grew out so much. But I also did my makeup yesterday. I did the video where I was talking about um, like the story of how we immigrated to the United States and all of that. And I was just playing around with makeup. I haven't done like a full beat face in a while. I wear the same amount of products, but those were just full coverage products. And I loved how it looked. The only thing is with full coverage products on my skin, they look great on camera, but like face to face or in bright light, natural light, it's too much. Like you can see, it's just, it doesn't look pretty in my opinion, but it looks great in like pictures and photos. So I'm gonna use my trusty Jane Iredale powders. I know it seems counterintuitive, like powders. I don't know what it is about these, they are amazing. I'm gonna grab my all over shade and apply it all over the face, except the under eye. I'm gonna use a concealer for that, like a liquid concealer. Okay, now that I have the foundation on, I'm gonna go in with the Bear With Me concealer. I used the Boeing Cakeless Concealer from Benefit, but that one, again, it's, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. So this one in shade Fair for me is very similar in color. Like it's very, very bright and it's kind of, kind of do the same thing. It's just not as full coverage, but it's really, really going to brighten 
I'm going to take my time blending this in and also bring it over the lid space to brighten that as well. I also like to do a little bit here, kind of like a lifting, just a bit. We have the base. For me, this is like more full coverage than I would usually do with the concealer. What I'm going to do now is grab a blush. I have this one from Too Faced that they sent to me. It's their Cloud Crush Blurring Blush Candy Clouds, I think the shade is. It's such a pretty pink. My goal with this is to get like a sun-kissed, sunburnt type look. So I'm going to grab a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit on the nose first, like right down the center. This is not exactly the shade for the sunburnt look, the sun-kissed look. And then a little bit here, like a sweeping across. And then I personally like to kind of bring it into my eyeshadow. I know that might be weird, but it's just what I do. Depending on your face shape, you might have a different technique, but just kind of like you got this sun kiss look. I'm gonna start with a little bit because I don't want to overdo it and then build it up. Okay. And then bronzer. The NYX Buttermelt Bronzers are so good, you guys. They actually recently came out with a blush, like blushes, and I was so close to buying one, but I'm like, honestly, I have so many blushes. You need to chill out. So I'm gonna apply some bronzer, kind of a little bit to the nose brows i have the nyx eyebrow pencil Ooh, i'm like all out i'm gonna get a new one and this right here is a pencil from wet n wild it's a cold crayon pencil i don't know it's a cinnamon brown no simmer brown now like simmer down now and this i'm going to go a little bit on the bottom right here like the lash line just a bit to the halfway point and then create a wing and then that wing, I'm going to connect with the top here. Super messy, super like not perfect. And then I'm just going to kind of rub it in with the fingers to smudge it out. You can definitely use a brush. I'm just going super casual and just kind of like wing it out. This way you add some depth to the eyes. Last but not least, I have the Too Faced Lip Injection plump Plumping Gloss. It is a really nice gloss expensive but I like it. I feel like if I were to buy a plumping gloss it would be this one. And Too Faced is now on Amazon. So they sent this to me. They sent me like a whole Too Faced package and that's kind of the look that I did the other day. I actually also took this pencil and I did a little bit of faux freckles. I think I actually used my eyebrow pencil. I used basically the same amount of products that I usually do but I kind of made it more full coverage I guess you can say and I just really liked how my makeup looked so I just kind of wanted to recreate it for this video. It's like a soft summery full glam. Like it's definitely not natural coverage like my skin. You can tell that I make makeup on basically is what I'm trying to say. So all right I'm gonna do my hair and we're gonna be leaving. If you're ever in North Carolina they have a, an equestrian center called Trine Equestrian Center. They do competitions, horse competitions, horse jumping competitions, all that. I don't know, with like equestrian stuff, you know? It's an equestrian center. And during the summertime, they have Saturday Night Lights where it's like a free event. They have a live band playing. You get to watch competitions. You can, you know, order food. You can go on free carousel rides. There's horse rides, like pony rides, something like that. Uh, there's face painting and stuff. It's just like a family fun night. They do that almost every Saturday in this, during summer. They also do, they have like the lights you can drive through we did last year, which that one is paid. They also have a Christmas thing going on. Really beautiful during the Christmas time. And they have a rodeo we want to go to in October. I got to buy tickets, hopefully. They still have the seats that I wanted. They do a lot and they are celebrating 10 years today. So I told my husband I want to go and that's going to be like I think at 4 p.m. But we might get there a little bit earlier and just hang out there. And they're also supposed to have a drone show, which they had a drone show if you watch one of my Christmas vlogs. It's just like a great family fun activity and it's free, you guys. Like it's free. It's a, I mean, obviously you have to drive there. And if you go after 4 or after 3, I think you have to pay $10 for parking. And it's, I think it's all donated to a local charity or something like that. But yeah, it's just like a great thing to do with the family. If you're ever in North Carolina, I don't know, my daughter loves horses, so that's what we're gonna do. It's already lunchtime, but I was thinking what to make and then Courtney texted me, talking about my pancakes that I made on the Blackstone, and I was like, ooh, perfect. I'm actually gonna make pancakes for lunch, cause why not? It's actually gonna be like a, well it is lunch, but we're gonna pretend it's a brunch. So the best pancake recipe, in my opinion, is this buttermilk recipe here. It's two, two, and two, so it's, two cups of flour, two cups of buttermilk, two eggs, and then you have like your salt, your butter, or you can use oil, baking powder, baking soda, 
and stuff like that, but you do the dry ingredients first and then whisk the eggs in the buttermilk, add in your vanilla and then pour the wet into the dry and be careful not to over mix it and then let it sit for like 10 minutes. And they're like the fluffiest, most delicious pancakes ever. In here, I'm gonna do two eggs. Do the eggs first in case there's like some weird junk in there. I mean, I've seen some videos where somebody like was in the last stages of baking, cooking, whatever, and then they cracked the egg into their batter and just ruined the whole thing because it was like some weird nasty stuff in there. So, okay. Two cups of buttermilk. I probably should have done the flour first before I did the wet in here because I'm going to need to use this again. Usually I'll add vanilla in here as well, but I don't have vanilla. I do have this homemade brown sugar syrup. So then I'll do just a little bit. Give that a good whisk. Then in here, I'm gonna do two cups of flour. You can use self-rising flour and then you avoid like the baking powder and all that, but I don't have any. We're just using up the flour that we have. So I got the flour, I'm gonna do some salt. I just eyeball it. I don't have baking powder, but you're gonna need both baking powder and baking soda. So I've just been doing it on baking soda. You don't wanna do too much because baking soda can kind of make it taste bitter. And then sugar, I eyeball this as well. Oil, oil. You need, I think, a third cup of oil or butter. I'm gonna eyeball that as well. I literally just eyeball stuff these days. I feel like that's how my mom grew up. Our parents, they cooked, they would always say in the halas. That basically means like eyeball it in, in Russian. So, anytime, like, mom, how much of this do you need? Oh, nahlas, nahlas. Сколько ты там кидала? Nahlas. And here we are doing the same exact thing. I'm gonna whisk up the dry ingredients. Pour it, the wet into the dry. And again, the key is to not over mix the batter. I'm actually use a spatula. It's the only one that I have. It's like a Christmas one. It's okay. Make sure you're getting the bottom bits as well. And now you just let it sit for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna go start up the black stone have some yummy yummy pancakes. We actually had a thunderstorm the other day so I had to cover it with like the cover cover so I'm gonna have to take it off. While I wait for that to start up I think I'm gonna make myself another latte. I have a feeling today's gonna be a very caffeinated day. My cat actually kept me up all night last night. I was like having a newborn, you guys. And I'm like, maybe I am done with three kids. <laughs> I'm trying to dial in these beans here, which I'm not crazy about them, honestly. They're tasting notes of white grape bergamot and brown sugar. But I don't know, I feel like I really like my floor, uh, not floral, but like my fruity, fruity ones so much better. But it has to be like the right kind of fruit. Things in the air. I can't feel Every color seems to bloom. And there's light in every room. Now that you're looking up, I can see it in your eyes that lately it's been tough. But now the sun is right. Some other food. <laughs> Trying to celebrating 10 years. You guys, we made it. This is where they have the live music. And then my kids have to go on this carousel right here. You don't want to go on the carousel ride? No. I think it's hand painted if I'm not if I'm correct. There's also a bunch of vendors here, so you can shop little vendors. There's like tea, a tea vendor, infused olive oil, pictures, permanent jewelry. They have a Chick-fil-A truck here, just like great. They also have a few restaurants as well, and I think that's ice cream or something, I'm not sure. And then my husband said he saw a coffee one, so. Hmm? You know, I, I do less and less outdoor stuff. Yeah. And, uh, because it's hard with the, like, the, the setup thing. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some Chick-fil-A. We found another arena. This is actually the arena where they're gonna have the rodeo in October. 
And we're just gonna try to eat our food here because everywhere else it's so hot and taken. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to ask you in just a moment. Uh, we are a minute away or so from having you ask you to look up skyward as uh, we introduce our skydiving team. Our parachute jumpers here joining us. The Skydive Carolina skydiving team has more than 44,000 combined jumps. morning it's already eight o'clock in the morning but we are they are still snoozing and I'm gonna let them sleep while I make myself a cup of coffee and then I want to talk about the one of the vendors we got this coffee from well good morning to me completely busted my screen like it is completely shattered i tried to record it in the mirror show you guys but yeah it's completely busted i mean everything seems to be working fine it's just like a completely shattered screen i always wonder when i when stuff like this happens like what if i what if i never went to go sit outside what if like whatever it is what it is i'll i wonder if i have insurance on this i'm not sure anywho this um coffee roast is actually really good it's i would say it's more dark it says it's a medium roast, but it's more dark. It looks dark. It has a little bit of oils on the beans. So I'd say it's more dark. And the tasting notes were caramel, pear, and tangerine. I'm getting more caramel, not so much the fruity ones. So I do like it. And the cool thing is this was one of the vendors at the equestrian center. He's telling us the story of how he came up with the name. Dusty Rose is a rescue horse. So it's Dusty Rose Coffee Roasters, which I thought was really cool. Part of the proceeds for every sale go to... Uh, charities to help rescue horses and things like that. I'll leave the website down below if you guys want to check it out. But yesterday was really fun. It was really hot. Really hot. The sun was beaming and scorching. And you're outside. We were outside for like six hours. I think we got there at closer to four, right before four. And we got the time we got home it was 11. So we stayed to like 10 something. So we were there for a very long time. But it's a really great thing to do on Saturdays in the summer if you're free kind of like a free event this year it was celebrating the 10 years like i said so they had a it wasn't a couple i think it was like three people they jumped out of an airplane from the sky i tried to record a lot of it i just couldn't have audio because they had the national anthem playing so you know i'm not trying to get flagged but it was so awesome to see they like jumped out of the airplane and then one of them had the american flag and then they landed it was just really cool they had the color guard come out and while somebody sang the national anthem and then the horse jumps began. The winner, I believe, was from Chile, I think. I'm not sure. He, he won last Saturday as well. And then second place was a girl representing Israel, Ashley Bond. And she's actually going to be in the 
Olympics in Paris. She's going there next month, I believe. So I thought that was really cool. And then I did like the whole champagne spray at the end. I didn't record as much there because filming in public is, it's like a, it's an art and a learned skill that I'm still learning to develop. Anywho, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.